Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and this is a quick unboxing of the Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro. So that's the follow-up to the pretty successful Yoga 13 of the first generation and the Yoga 2 Pro of last year. And here we have it. So this is actually a silver version of the new device. It is just, again, a 13.3-inch Ultrabook convertible. So it's a two-in-one device. You can actually use this as a tablet. And I'm just going to quickly unbox this. And just to let you guys know, this is one of the sexiest packaging I have so seen so far. Because, look at this, when I open this up, it actually lifts up the inner part of the uh, packaging. So I'm just going to do that again so you can maybe see that better. So it actually lifts up the inner part because they've taped this all together. And it actually lifts up this uh, orange box there in the middle. And here we have the device still wrapped up. I just put it back in there. I've already uh, set it up or they gave it to us uh, fully set up. I'm just going to put this to the side and just as a quick teaser, look at this hinge. This is an amazing hinge. Basically, pretty much made like a, a pretty expensive wristband, like a riddle, uh, metal wristband that you might know from uh, watches. But let's go further down into the box right now because they've changed a bunch of, bunch of things. So here we have the new charger, which is basically a super powered USB charger. Um, as you can see right here, the charging plug itself looks like a USB uh, port. It obviously seems to actually just be a, a USB port. And I'm just going to quickly check how powerful this thing is. This looks like it outputs 20 volts and 2, amp 2 amperes. Well, that should be a 40 watt charger. This is a standard US adapter. I think there should be... Uh, different plugs for the different countries, but we have the US version right here. So this got a little bit big, uh, smaller than the previous model because uh, the new one actually runs on an Intel Core uh, M SoC. So that's one of the new chips that starts uh, that's coming out and it's running at 1.1 gigahertz and goes all the way up to uh, 2.6 gigahertz. And as you can see here, this looks pretty much just like your standard USB port right there, but on this end, which is the end that goes into the computer itself, they can see that you have this small spot up here that is bulging out there, so you can't actually uh, plug this into a USB port, and also the port on the device itself doesn't double as a USB port. I already checked that, and yeah, so that's a new cable right here. So again, proprietary charger, but we're talking about an Ultrabook right here, so that's it on the left right there. And on the right, you only get a bunch of yeah, paperwork. So as usual, the typical stuff, quick setup guide right here, plus warranty information, and that's pretty much it for now. Just gonna put this in here quickly, back again, wrap this up, and let's get to the notebook itself. I'm just going to quickly get it out of its foil and it's so thin it's pretty hard to actually get this out of here. So there you go. So there you have it. That's the Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro and let's try and check out this hinge again. So as, it, as they promised they were going to do something new with the hinge. So you have these metal bars that I think like these four metal bars are probably going running all the way through uh, the edge of the device right here and they're bound together with this kind of metal mesh that is made out of 813 parts. That's what they said about uh, the back end right here. And these uh, parts in the middle right here are actually doubling as covers for the whole thing. So I think it's held together mostly by the metal mesh and the connection to the device itself is made with these uh, metal things right there and in the middle right here that's where they uh, uh, lead the screen uh, connection I think that's where it, that goes through the device right there and just to give you a quick idea on the other side right there so that's what that looks like so that's their new super hinge uh, they said uh, it makes them 
able to reduce the thickness of the device further so it's only 12.8 millimeters thick as you can see right here so they re reduced thickness by almost 3 millimeters it's down from 15.5 millimeters to those 12.8 the whole thing weighs only 1.19 kilograms so it also got about 300 grams lighter and there you go I'm just gonna open this up and let you take a quick look right here the whole uh, this device runs the Intel Core M5 Y70 so that's the top end uh, Broadwell Y series SOC it is combined with 8 gigs of uh, onboard memory so the RAM is 8 gigs plus 256 which is this one or 512 gigabytes of SSD storage integrated into this device um, it does feel very sturdy because it has this metal covers on both sides so it's not fully made out of metal as we were guessing before the launch so you have a metal cover aluminum cover right here and another aluminum cover on the top right there and if you look at this it is really really super slim uh, although it is that this thin because of the Intel Core M SOC it's supposed to be able to run up to nine hours and we'll see how that works out um, but yeah let's take a quick look at the screen for a second so this is a 13.3 inch IPS panel and I think it's pretty much the same screen as on the second gen Yoga Pro uh, because the resolution is still at 3200 by 1800 um, but I think they've managed uh, to fix the color uh, problems that were present on the second gen Yoga Pro. So this looks definitely pretty nice. The brightness doesn't seem to be the absolute highest, but I'm also in a very bright spot right now and I haven't really had a chance to compare the two devices yet. Um, yeah, let's take a quick tour then. Let me just fold this over and you'll see how that works. So if you uh, have the device standing on your table it's gonna look like this and then you go fold it all the way back and it actually folds over a full 360 degrees um, on the front right here we have a um, one megapixel camera I think that's a 720p capable webcam right there and it also recognizes the way you're using the device and it switches to different settings and they have a bunch of fancy things going on there so I hadn't haven't had a chance to check these out it's called Harmony and yeah it does all the switching about the screen just another thing I think it's kind of a pentile metric so it's not really an RGB metrics going on right here to manage to get this high pixel count I think they're shuffling around the pixels because it looks kind of like on the older models that had pretty much the same screen so we have a huge glass cover on here and that's pretty much it I think the the sides like the bezels on the left and right have gotten a little smaller uh, there's no speakers down here on the pictures that leaked a bit earlier I thought there were actually speakers in there but this is just cover that is probably covering the connection between the hinge and the display let's turn the whole thing over and have a look at the keyboard well, it's pretty much the same keyboard as on the last gen, so key travel pretty much is not very much, but I actually like it that way, so it's very comfortable to type on. They have this great Lenovo keyboard as usual. It's also backlit again, so you just hit these two buttons and it lights up the keyboard. The trackpad is still very decently sized. It's fully clickable. Travel seems pretty much all right too. And if you look on the palm rest right here, they're all plastic and they have this pattern uh, that kind of reminds me of the Samsung Galaxy S5 a tiny bit. Up here you have a marking for JBL Audio because there are two very powerful speakers in here and as on the last gen Yoga 2 Pro you are getting very very decent sound of the de out of this device. And now let's take a quick tour around then. So we start out with this plug back here, so there you can see that's this special new USB kind of style looking port that is not really a USB port. I wonder if I can actually plug in a USB cable right there or maybe what happens if I plug in a mouse or whatever. I hope it doesn't blow up uh, the peripheral that I attach, maybe accidentally. 
Right next to that is a full-size USB 3.0 super speed port. This is your micro HDMI out and that's the full-size SD card reader for extending storage or reading any SD card that you might have around. And yeah, let's take a quick look at the front right here. There's pretty much nothing there. And over here it tells me, yes, this is a yoga. And on the right, they have moved up the power button a tiny bit, so you won't actually uh, accidentally hit it when you have the device in your uh, backpack, for example. This is a reset button, a uh, power LED in the middle right there, plus the volume rocker, and this is your combined headset and microphone jack. Back here, this is another super speed USB 3.0 port that is also doubling as a charging port when the device is in standby. So yeah, I'm actually quite liking this thing so far, but that's mostly because I've already had the other earlier models and this really feels very nice. It's definitely a step up in quality compared to the earlier ones because of these metal covers on here and this hinge is really pretty much gorgeous. Um, it, these, uh, the metal parts here in the middle, they actually clicker a bit, so they're not fully fixed to the, the, to, uh, the whole uh, construction right here. So that's probably just covers to uh, make it look pretty much awesome. And they, I guess they would have been able to uh, actually do the whole thing with this kind of metal mesh. The only thing that I'm wondering about is if that maybe clogs up with dirt over time, but we'll see how that works out. So yeah, that's been my quick unboxing and the first quick first look at the Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro. I was Roland with Mobile Geeks and if you like what we do on our channel, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus and we will see you later. Bye! Bye.